LeBron can play in any era. You ever heard of something called adjustment? LeBron is stronger than most of the players and bigger than most of the players, you know. And if they was going to get rough with him, if he played in the past, if they got rough with him with the size he got now, he'd get rough back. He was bigger than most of the players back then. They had some good some size, some guys back then. They had Carl Malone and Anthony Mason. And they had some, uh, some ball players and stuff, but don't get it twisted. LeBron, is, he could have adjusted. He, was, he could have adjusted. We all know he's fast and athletic and hit 6'9". What makes you think he couldn't go, go harder if he wanted to go harder? What makes you think he couldn't go harder? Yes, you are jealous of LeBron. Yes, you don't want him to go past Jordan. I understand. The harder the matter is, He's a very athletic basketball player. He's six foot nine. May not be the best shooter, blah, 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 but his, his longevity and athleticism and his, uh, his body stamina, um, athletic stamina is surpassing everybody. We've never seen a player that stay in this shape at this, you know, constantly year after year. It's genetics. It's genetics as well as keeping up with your body. And people are hating on him because he, it's about the player, not the team. As a player, I think if you threw him back there with them, he would have still been doing, might have been doing better. I think certain players was just the first of their kind. A lot of it's really hard to stand out now. You got to be shooting like from half court, like carry, and you know you, it's hard to stand out. You got Greek freak, seven foot one, uh, dribbling from coast to coast. You know, moving fast, and you know that athletics. You know that athletic, and now he doesn't develop a shot, so he's standing out. He's standing out. So you got to understand that you got to stand out a lot nowadays. You got a lot of tall athletic players and people say they soft, blah, blah, blah. But the rules change before they got in the league. You know what I'm saying? The rules change. A lot of the players don't got chips on it. They show this. A lot of the players are rich already before they get in the league. They ain't coming from the hood. You know what I'm saying? A lot of their parents played in the NBA. They got money. So they just playing, they just enjoying themselves. It's not really a, they don't got, they're not playing with a lot of chips. Only people playing with a chip is probably with Russell. You know, certain players playing with a chip, but they're not playing with a chip like they used to. So they're not fouling and intentional fouls. You get a little bit of here and there, but don't get it twisted. They know. They know that LeBron can do if he if he wanted to. He's athletic. He's strong. What makes you think if he got mad if they if the Pistons was hacking him? What happened if he pushed him back with all the muscles and strength he got at six nine? What you think would happen to them then? Don't get it twisted. You act you're acting like LeBron is a cotton ball or something. He's no cotton ball. Just because he play around and with kids and do Space Jam and he know how to have fun and he's funny. That that means he's a cotton ball. Don't get it twisted. He's just jealous of LeBron. Deep inside, people know the truth. To be continued, I'm Alan Reagan, and much love to you. Follow me on Instagram, type in Alan Reagan and search. Also, so feel free to subscribe to this page. Hey, much love to you. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Do you think LeBron would have been a cotton ball back in the day? You know, years, about 20 years, 20, 30 years ago in basketball? All right, talk to you later. Alan Reagan there. Holler at me in the comment section.